Breaking news this morning as a large structure fire is currently burning at Larch Court in Central Columbia. ABC 17's Christy Crawford is at the scene and we'll go to her for a live report in just a minute. But first, we'll go to ABC 17 Storm Track meteorologist Bridget Mahoney with your outdoor forecast. And we have a weather alert this morning. That is all due to this winter weather advisory that goes in effect later on this afternoon until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. We are going to see snowfall really for all of mid-Missouri, but areas shaded in purple, they see a better chance to be dealing with a glaze of ice, and that's before that snow by later on this afternoon and evening. I'll be tracking that coming up here at 537. But before we get to that active winter weather, we are dry this morning, but Temperatures are very cold. It's a bitter cold start. 15 degrees right now in Columbia, 17 in Jefferson City with those clear skies. Clouds build into the area pretty quickly today, so not a lot of sun is expected. Also, remember for the morning commute, roadways could be a little bit slick out there, and that is due to that winter weather we had last night. And coming up here at 537, I'll give you an updated look at another shot for some snow as well as ice. Lindsay. Now back to that breaking news as a large structure fire is currently burning at Larch Court in Columbia. ABC 17's Christy Crawford is at the scene right now and Christy, what are you seeing? Well, Lindsay, this fire is massive. I'm just gonna go ahead and step out of the way so you can get a better look at what I'm seeing here. Uh, now, Right now, the smoke is just so thick, you can't even see the fire, but a few moments ago, there was this huge area on top of the roof that was just lit up with fire. You can see there's several uh, firefighters working the scene. There's one on this ladder up above the roof. I don't even know how they're working through that right now because they, are covered in smoke. We did see some firefighters uh, having issues with this winter weather because the water that they're spraying is creating this layer of ice on the ground. We saw them slipping and sliding just five minutes ago. It, they're going to be here for a while trying to fight this fire. Uh, like I said, flames are still coming out of the roof. Uh, so we'll continue to stay here and monitor the situation and try to give you any updates that we can. We haven't been able to speak with any uh, law enforcement or firefighters on the scene because clearly they're very busy right now. We'll let them work before we try to get that information from them. Reporting live in Columbia, Kirsty Crawford, ABC 17 News. And the time now, 5.33. We're still monitoring school closures as they come in. More than a dozen in the last half hour. Sedalia 200, uh, Osage R1, California all one all calling off uh, classes in the last half hour. We also have some other big closures we want to make you aware of. Columbia Public Schools has uh, closed, uh, canceled classes for today. Jefferson City Public Schools right now, they say they're on a two-hour delayed start. Uh, other closures include uh, Mexico, South Carolina, Callaway R2, North Callaway R1, Centralia, all canceling classes for today. Now there are dozens and dozens of more, uh, come, uh, more added to that closure list of schools and organizations. That's all on our website, abc17news.com. We have it scrolling at the bottom of your screen uh, as well throughout the morning. Now I'm updating this list minute by minute, so be sure to uh, continue to check that. Lindsay. And as you're waking up this morning, you could run into some slick road conditions on your morning commute. Crews across Mid-Missouri worked to treat the roads both yesterday and Sunday. Moda was fully staffed at all of their Mid-Missouri maintenance buildings overnight. But even though roads have been treated, you could still run into slick conditions on the roads and sidewalks. Moda says it's a good idea to check the traveler's map in before you head out the door this morning to see if they're... Your route is clear. You can see some of those routes in blue and light blue are in the covered or partially covered condition. It's also a good idea to give yourself some extra time. Slow down. Be mindful. If somebody's going slow, um, be mindful of those folks and slow down also and, and take, take your time um, and just be cautious. Troop F of the State Highway Patrol sent out their numbers from last night. They reported 80 crashes with six injuries. Thankfully, no fatal crashes were reported on Monday. However, on Sunday, troopers did confirm one fatality in Audrain County. Emergency responders are taking are asking all drivers to be cautious this morning. You know, road crews are out there working hard, and, and the fewer vehicles on the road allows them to do their job a lot better. Mm -hmm. People need to use caution in the morning. There's still going to be slick spots. There could be black ice, there could be, uh, you know, elevated roadways are going to be slick. And you can find updated information on road conditions across Missouri on that travel map. Again, we have that link on our website. 
This morning, a new report suggests President Trump and Robert Mueller may not be agreeing to a face-to-face -face interview soon. The New York Times reported yesterday that the president's attorneys are trying to keep him from agreeing to an interview in the special counsel's investigation. His attorneys are apparently worried about potential incriminating statements that the president could make. They also apparently don't believe Mueller would be willing to subpoena Trump. The president has said he would be glad to talk with Mueller and insisted there was no collusion with Russia in the 2016 election. And President Trump faces the decision this morning on whether or not to publicize a Democratic memo rebutting allegations of misconduct at the FBI in that investigation. The Democratic memo was passed unanimously yesterday. They say it will push back against the main allegations of the memo passed and published last week. You'll recall last week's GOP memo was published despite heavy criticism from Democrats, the FBI, and the Department of Justice who were concerned about its accuracy. Today, there's a new incoming leader for roughly 90,000 Catholics with the Diocese of Jefferson City. We'll have live coverage from the ordination mass for Bishop Sean Elect, or for Bishop Elect Sean McKnight, starting at one this afternoon. That's when I'll be live at the Cathedral of St. Joseph over on Fox 22 KQFX. You can also watch it live on abc17news.com. The time now is 5.37. We are waking up to dry conditions across all of mid-Missouri, starting to see those clouds build into the area. But just because we are dry, that, of course, doesn't mean slick spots aren't out there. On my way into work, I saw a few slick spots on the road, so just allow for a little extra time. No need to rush on your way to work this morning. Also, bundle up as you head out the door. Temperatures are very cold. We have a wind chill on top of that. Winds are up to 8 miles per hour, so that's knocking that feels like temperature down to 2 degrees in Columbia, 6 in Jefferson City, 1 in Brunswick, and negative 5 is what it's feeling like right now in Macon. All day long, very cold temperatures. We will rise not far, 25 degrees right around 3 p.m. in that wind chill holding on to 18 degrees. Now here's the weather situation for today. We do have a winter weather advisory in effect. That's mainly for areas south of I-70. This is because we do see a chance for a glaze of ice. You know, all of mid-Missouri is going to get a little bit of snowfall, but south of Jefferson City to the Lake of the Ozarks, Camdenton, Fort Leonard Wood, Rolla included, could see a little bit of ice, a glaze up to a tenth of an inch, but most of mid-Missouri just receiving light snowfall, a little bit heavier as you go further to the northwest. So here's the rough timing on it. We are going to see it begin around 3 p.m. This is mainly north of I-70. It will be spring Spreading south as we head into the evening hours. The bulk of it will be past 9 p.m. tonight, but that doesn't mean we won't start to see impacts for your evening commute home, so just be cautious. Here's that glaze of ice on top of that. This is what we could see snowfall wise. Snow tracker is showing less than an inch for most of mid Missouri from Columbia to Boonville down to California. Jefferson City. That's where it gets a little hazy. We start to see an inch to two inches anywhere from Osage Beach to Camdenton up to the northwest, an inch to two inch as well. Temperatures tonight drop to 16 degrees, so a cold night ahead and cold for your Wednesday. We will be dry by early Wednesday morning. I'll have the latest future track timing out this evening snow coming up here at 547. Coming up on ABC 17 News This Morning, where the news comes first. President Trump is calling some Democrats treasonous this morning after they didn't clap during his State of the Union address. Hear how one lawmaker is responding. And later, more than 100 people are suing North Korea 50 years after the country captured an American spy ship. Find out what could come of the lawsuit. The time now is 5.40. Welcome back. The time now is 5.43. Police in Colorado are investigating what led up to the deadly shooting of a deputy yesterday. 34-year-old El Paso County Deputy Micah Flick was shot while investigating a stolen car in Colorado Springs. It happened during an apparent struggle with a suspect. Three other law enforcement officers and a bystander were also hurt. The suspect was shot and killed. Democrats and President Trump are feuding this morning after the president called them treasonous for not clapping during his State of the Union speech. 
The president made the comments at a rally yesterday. He accused Democrats of not showing him enough praise and saying they didn't care about America's security. One Democrat said the president should know that disagreements come with living in America. That's not the way America works. I think that uh, the most un-American thing was what the president said, that there oughtn't to be dispute or disagreement with him uh, among senators and members of the House of Representatives. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi also called his remarks alarming, saying loyalty to the president doesn't equal loyalty to the country. House Republicans are pushing a six-week spending bill to keep the government open and adding a year's worth of Pentagon funding. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says the, uh, the measure won't go anywhere in the Senate. Senate lawmakers are reportedly working on an agreement for large increases in Pentagon spending as well as domestic programs. This comes as Democrats continue to push for DACA protections. The deadline to avoid another government shutdown is at midnight Thursday. Vice President Mike Pence is preparing for his trip to the Winter Olympics in South Korea. Find out what action he says he's not ruling out. Coming up, the time now is 544. And I'm tracking snow and, and, and ice that could impact you all the way through the next 24 hours. I'll let you know those impacts coming up at 547. Welcome back. The time now, 547. And we do have a winter weather advisory in effect for most of mid-Missouri, mainly areas south of I-70. But we actually are looking at the higher snow totals the further north you go. In northern Missouri, that is where we will see the most snow. But all of mid-Missouri is going to be affected. We're not talking about a major winter storm. It is going to be fairly low snowfall totals. But it still could provide you moderate impact. Impacts. So some slick spots are likely with a chance for a glaze of ice and that could continue all the way through tomorrow morning. Temperatures this morning are cold. 13 degrees right now in Columbia with that wind out of the north. We are seeing wind chills in the single digits. 17 degrees right now at the Lake of the Ozarks and 13 at Joe Mockins of Columbia. All day long it will be bitterly cold. Temperatures are going to be well below average as we see them rise only to uh, 24 degrees right around 4 p.m. and really not a lot of sun is in the forecast for today around 3 to 4 p.m. That is when we start to see that snow chance on the increase. Here, 4 p.m., you can see north of I-70, some light snow showers, and it looks to spread as we head towards 6, but it's really going to be the battle zone. Columbia not really receiving much with this system, mainly north and really mainly south along I-44. You'll notice that here maybe a few light snow showers developing south of I-44, but the bulk of it is going to be hanging out in our far northwestern counties. And then we look to dry out by early tomorrow morning. So here's another look at that snow tracker. Most of mid Missouri is receiving less than an inch of snowfall. You can see Columbia coming in close right around nine tenths of an inch. But snowfall totals get pretty tight here in Macon, nearly up to two inches. Brunswick, not even at an inch. So that's that situation there along I-44 maybe close to two inches as well. So we could see some moderate impacts all the way through this evening and into your Wednesday morning commute. Wednesday morning will be dry, but of course, it's still going to be cold. So those uh, icy conditions could stay on the roadways. But we see improvements as we head into Thursday and Friday. But that all changes yet again as we head into the weekend. 35 for your Saturday and then cooling into Sunday. So overall, below average weekend ahead. We could look at a chance for some active weather. We could see rain changing into snow come Saturday night. But before we get there, a pretty active day ahead. We are going to be tracking that chance for mm -hmm. some light snow to totals as we head into this evening. All right, good to know. Thanks, yep. Bridget. This morning, Vice President Mike Pence isn't ruling out a meeting with North Korean officials while attending the Winter Olympics. Pence is leading the U.S. delegation to the Olympic opening ceremonies in South Korea. He told reporters in Anchorage that he hasn't requested a meeting but added, quote, we'll see what happens. Pence says his message that North Korea must permanently get rid of its nuclear weapons and ballistic missile program will stay the same. 
Survivors of the USS Pueblo are suing North Korea 50 years after the American spy ship was captured. The country held the crew members hostage and tortured them for 11 months. More than 100 members of the crew and relatives have joined a lawsuit filed in, uh, in federal court. North Korea is not expected to respond to the lawsuit, and plaintiffs aren't likely to get funds directly from the country, but they could win relief from a U.S. government fund set up to support victims of terrorism. Saudi Arabia is delivering aid to the Arab world's poorest country. The country is sending nearly a billion dollars in aid to Yemen, even as it's at war with the Shiite rebels in Yemen. It plans to spend another $1.5 billion as well. Saudi relief officials say their role has nothing to do with the ongoing military fight and are trying to aid people in the Houthi-controlled territory as well. U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley says Russia is protecting the Syrian president from responsibility for chemical attacks. Haley spoke with the U.N. Security Council yesterday, saying Russia is delaying the adoption of condemning statement against chemical weapons. Part of that statement includes a rebuke of a chemical weapon attack in Syria last year. Russia responded by saying the U.S. wants to accuse Syria when no one has been identified as using the chemical weapons. This morning, the head of a U.S. group says Pope Francis was intentionally deceptive about abuse claims against a bishop in his recent visit to Chile. The Associated Press reported yesterday that Francis got a letter in 2015 about abuse from a priest and another bishop ignoring it. In his recent trip to Chile, he said he'd seen no evidence of the bishop's complicity in any abuse. The co-director of the abuse awareness group said the letter either suggests dysfunction or deception from the pope. Puerto Rico's governor says he's taking new steps to reform the U.S. territory's education system. The governor said yesterday he's submitting a measure that creates charter schools and vouchers and gives all public school teachers a raise. It also strengthens vocational schools on the island. He said at the fact that Puerto Rico is due to lose about 54,000 students over the next four years due to recession. Education officials announced 150 school closures last year because of the drop in enrollment. Some Oscar nominees still have hard feelings after last year's Academy Awards. I'll we'll tell you what one of them said on Late Night TV up next. The time now is 5.53. Welcome back. The time now is 5.56. This morning, some entertainment media figures are questioning why they were left out when a popular director made comments about sexual misconduct in Hollywood. Producer and director Jed Apatow gave a monologue this weekend at the Directors Guild Award. During the monologue, members of several outlets were left out of the room and denied access to audio and visual recordings. A representative said it was to stop online distribution. Apatow apparently made jokes about the lack of female directors, actors who have been accused of sexual misconduct, and Harvey Weinstein. Some of this year's Oscar nominees say that there's still uh, some hard feelings about how last year's Oscars awards ended up. You'll recall the movie La La Land was named Best Picture before a mix-up was reported revealing Moonlight was the actual true winner. Both last year's and this year's host Jimmy Kimmel joked about the event at an event for nominees yesterday. However, one person involved with, a La 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 with La La Land said some of his colleagues were still upset about it. He also said he realizes how big the moment was and said it would be awkward if no one brought it up. The time now, 5.57, and it's a very cold start to the morning. Right now, 14 degrees in Columbia, but if you look at what it feels like, feels like five out there. Very cold Jefferson City, 17 degrees, and with that slight breeze out of the northeast, feeling like 10 degrees. All in all, a very cold day in store as temperatures only rise into the mid-20s. As you head home from work this evening, likely going to start to see a little bit of snowfall north of I-70. We are going to continue to track that increasing snow chance through the late evening hours. That's coming up in the next 30 minutes. And here's another live look as crews are working at a fire scene in central Colombia. We'll have another live update from our crews on the scene coming up in a couple minutes. Stay with us.